because I do post these on my Facebook page. Um, I'm going to be talking to my wife folks. And uh, I'm going to give it to them straight. But it's not particularly directly towards you. And uh, this is not talking about anyone in particular. So if this doesn't apply to you, let it go. But if you feel offended or anything like that, then delete me off your Facebook friend. I mean, good riddance. I mean... It is what it is. I, for the last 31 years, I have been dealing with Caucasian people on a daily basis. Ever since I moved off the west side of Chicago, which is uh, all 99% uh, predominantly black neighborhood or community, uh, I realized when I was 11 years old, 10, 11 years old, that it's something that distinguish white people from every other race. And then over the last 30 years, I realized that when you're dealing with them, you're dealing with somebody that's totally different. For one, they don't think the same way we do. Their whole perspective on life is completely and totally different from everyone else's. Now, I'm not saying all white people, don't get me, don't, I don't want to try to uh, put myself in a corner by saying all white people are like this, but it's enough for us to be concerned about. Let me get that clear. African Americans are known for having rhythm and being real good at, with uh, keeping time and, and being uh spiritually creative or mostly creative but then again when I compare what white people are good at according to black people I mean as uh, it compares to blacks I come always no matter what I try to do I try to give them the benefit of the doubt I always come up with one thing is that white people seem to have the natural high capability of being very deceived, deceptive, to be able to deceive people. I always notice that they never want to hear the truth. If you try to speak the truth to them, they don't want to hear it, only unless it's benefiting them for their own individual purposes. They hate hearing the damn truth. And a lot of times, they know what the truth is. They still don't want to hear it. It ain't like they don't know. When you're dealing with these people, and when you're talking with them, and conversing with them, and giving dialogue back and forth, whatever, you have to listen very carefully to every word they say. And when they say things that's not very clear, or, or, or make any type of direct statements, you got to question them on what they're saying. Because it's their choice of words and which the way they arrange the words that they say. 
that gets the meaning confused a lot of times. They want you to think they're saying something about this, but then again, uh, depending on how everything unfolds in the end, they could always say they meant that. So you got to always get them completely on a definite level when you're dealing with them and talking to them trying to get an understanding with them. Listen to every word they say, every single word they say, and try to memorize what they say. They will take facts and manipulate facts. The only thing you can do with these people is to deal with the truth, man. They're going to always try to stray you off the path of truth to keep you on the path of facts, because facts are things that can be, it's gathered evidence. The truth never changes. The facts can change because you can manipulate it around the facts. They try to claim that African Americans and people of different races are the real threats of the world in any particular society that we're in, when in actuality, these people have raised more hell on this earth than any other man that ever walked the face of this earth. But they try to convince other people that they're good people. And a lot of them, with their self-righteous attitude and belief, that they are uh, good people. And you couldn't tell them nothing different. So when you're dealing with with them, you got to be real careful because they'll deceive you. It's in their nature, just like it's in Africans' nature to have rhythm and timing. So this is exactly the, flips, the flip side of everything. These are very worldly people. Really, that's all I got to say. I'm 169 student minutes of action for the reality simple on earth. Hopefully, I can get some responses and uh, get some comments. Jot them down under my page. Peace out. Peace forever and always. Welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. Your host is his divine masculine brother, Administer Talik IBNRAD.